Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a tag video. This is a top 10 tag, one from each genre tag. Now, I was tagged by Sean Patrick Hershen to do this one. I were going to do it on my main channel, but with, uh, you know, from responding from Lisa Love's video, but I thought, well, I've been tagged and I've been putting this off long enough. So let's get on to it. So, you know, this is like, a horror, uh, you know, film from each genre. So let's begin. So uh, the first one is horror, and for that one, it's this wasn't an easy one for me, but I managed to n narrow it down to one, and I'm going with an American Werewolf in London because it is one of my favourite werewolf movies ever made, and there's uh, you know, and it's set around Yorkshire, and I am from Yorkshire. So, an American werewolf in London. The next genre is animation, and for that one, I'm going with Toy Story from 1995, because it's a childhood favourite of mine, and I still love it to this very day, and it was like, kind of, groundbreaking visuals for its time as well. And the next one is drama, and for this one, I'm going with The Shawshank Redemption. It's a good prison drama, and I enjoy the film a lot. So, Shawshank Redemption. Next one is comedy, and again, wasn't an easy pick, but I got down to one. And I'm going with the 1997 comedy, The Full Monty, because I love the film a lot. It's set in, you know, Sheffield, where I live, and I even work at one of the locations where it was filmed uh, as well. And yeah, it's just a local film for me. And I love, you know, watching it, seeing Sheffield in the late 90s. And, yeah, I just, I love that one. Next is science fiction, sci-fi. And for that one, I'm going with The Terminator, 1984. I could have gone with Alien. I could have gone with Predator. I could have gone with, you know other things. But I chose The Terminator because it has some good action in there. And it is pure science fiction as well, you know, time traveling robots and cyborgs. And Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator in the first film, where he's a bad guy. He's just so sinister and emotionless and just won't stop until he, until he completes his mission. And then, of course, we go into action. And for that one, again, it's another Terminator film. It's T2, Judgment Day. This is one of the best action movies ever made. And definitely one of the best sequels ever made. It just, you know, it just, I don't know where to begin or how good it is. They make Arnold Schwarzenegger's Terminator the hero this time, which just worked. And, of course, we've got the menacing, sinister T-1000 played by Robert Patrick. And it's just, you know, a whole chase movie and we see action non-stop throughout this one. And I just love that bit where the Terminator just gets on his leather jacket and his sunglasses and it plays that bad to the bone. I just love that moment in the movie. It's just so badass and cool. Uh, number, uh, not number, uh, next genre is comic books. Comic book movies. I'm going with the first film, The Avengers. From 2012, it was just the first ever superhero movie to, that I saw on screen where it all crossed over and we got to see it in live action and yeah, it was just done so brilliantly and I love that whole scene when they're about to fight in New York when the camera pans around the whole Avengers. I just love that scene. So I'm going with the Avengers. Could have gone with Endgame, but without the first Avengers movie, we won't have all the incredible stuff after it. Next one is Western films, and I'm going with A Fistful of Dollars. Yeah, Clint Eastwood as the man with no name. You know, people say the good, the bad, and the ugly is the best in the trilogy. I prefer this. I like this one. It was my first real Western movie that I can remember watching with my dad as a little kid. So, Fistful of Dollars. Next one is romance. Now, I do like the odd romantic comedy and the odd romantic movie, but I'm going with a classic here, and I'm going with Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, George Peppard and Audrey Hepburn, 
and it's gone down as one of the most romantic movies of all time. Probably one of the best romantic stories, you know, love stories since Romeo and Juliet. So, breakfast at Tiffany's. And the last one, but certainly not least, is Adventure. And for that one I've gone with Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first Indiana Jones movie. My second favourite is The Last Crusade, but I'm going to go with this one because, you know, it was just 1981. It was just so cool at the time, and I still think it has a great opening as well. So there you go. There is my top 10 one movie from each genre. It was a hard one, but I got to it, and there you are. So uh, I'm supposed to tag some people now, but a lot of people that I usually tag or know have been tagged. So basically, if you're watching this and you want to do it, then feel free to do so. I'm tagging you right now, so there you are. Uh, so, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, uh, share with your friends, subscribe, all that stuff. It'd mean a great deal to me if you did, but no pressure. So there you go. Um, that's it for this one, so until next time, don't have nightmares.